Okay, we'll be starting right. with Sheik. And I, to be honest, I really like that he's really trying to commit to this Sheik, just playing her in as many sets as possible, just make sure that he's super confident in her in all sorts of different matchups, even matchups that he has characters for already. I think that's that's the way that you really are supposed to kind of learn new characters. Is you, you have to be in uncomfortable situations with them, be willing to let yourself be there. Just a little bit of back and forth to start off. Both these characters are so quick, they're able to whip so many moves. Very difficult to punish them sometimes. They're reaching in, Perk making his way out of the corner. Got his own advantage still. Okay. Ooh, catching the air dodge. No air dodge, no jump. Anthony forced to use his limit. Perk recognizing he can only do one of those, two of those on the shield. Okay. Despite all of the advantage that Quirk's been playing, it's even in percent. <laughs> Anthony makes it back in just a few straight hits, and that Tomahawk up smash is going to take it. Anthony very content to just chill out. He knows he's got the lead, he's got his limit coming up on deck. I'm very happy to be out here. Jesus, the limit. Quite wise to hit that. That's a, a very classic maneuver. Using the dude, I love seeing him use cross slash to stall me. Right? He, he uses that and Blake being both super super effective. And he making his way out of the corner with a roll. Wow, that, yeah, that's still catching, catching him from behind. That was crazy. Not gonna get the two frame of the diner. Yeah, Anthony is really really, really just locking the locking court down right now. Oh, the needle confirmed, not quite on target. Tom Hawk up smash. Totally You'll love smash. to see it. With all that rage, surely would have taken the stock. Oh, oh definitely missing the ledge. Definitely intending to just retreat to ledge and moves a little too far. Kodak has quite a lot of drift on that. Especially at the top. Dash attack, almost killing, but no rage. Yeah, Quark loves up there off the, off the ledge. Working out from his favor so far. Dash attack still not quite going to do it. Quark has the DI ready. Beautiful, catch beautiful catch on that jump. Anthony again, chilling out. He's got his limit. Aggressive landing, fair. Okay. Good limit cross slash. Wow, uh, yeah, catching the fair this time. Cloud hitbox is just outclassing Sheik's when it comes to size. Yeah, this is a uh, tough for Sheik to deal with. And strength, honestly. Mary, out of that top. Yeah. Very interesting. Work has a chance to take the stock here. Yeah, like holding on to the jump down, that back is going to steal the back here. That feels like a lot of unfortunate situations came together for Quark. I think Sheik's easiest way to win is to try to get Cloud off stage and go right. for some gimps. That's such a classic win condition, this is character. But Anthony also is like really, really diligent with how he's like recovering and holding under his resources. And He's always got limit when he's off stage, so the up B is always a factor. Yeah. Really is just keeping keeping himself locked in. He really knows how to mix up his options. Like he knows how to like, stall with the side B. Um, throw out limit attacks sometimes and catch the thunder up guard. Alright, let's see if this goes a little differently. We're on small battlefields with uh, slightly lower platforms. Wow. Looks like Quirk ran through Anthony there. That is something you can do when people are invincible. Or intangible, rather. You can run through them. It leads to a lot of weird situations like that. Nevertheless, Quirk is making this game look like his show right now. He's not, not taking any damage. Yeah, not any hits on him, and he's... Oh, man. Yeah, those needles that they connected, that would have been... Three down there. Two attacks, and now he's at half the damage that Anthony is. And that's the rough reality of it. this matchup. They're, okay. They're gonna take it. Cork feeling himself a little bit with the top. Let's see how Cork. Cork finally getting a lead for the first time in the set. Let's see what he uh, chooses to do with it. Yikes. Up smash. Up smash. Not quite gonna take it, but that single one probably would have died. Cork throwing out his own up smash. I think he's trying to say something. I see you. Okay. Oh, interesting coverage, but it works out perfectly. Okay. But, yeah, 
Yeah, he threw that fair, but Anthony jumped back. I got missed. What's the ledge trap? Fork escaping above. We're seeing that a lot tonight, but Anthony gonna seal the deal with the back air. It's kind of a critical moment. Anthony needs to find out a way to get first to the maximum of this game. Definitely feels like he's got Fork's number at this event. We got a double up <laughs> I roll sometimes. Nice. He dashed forward and turned around to perfectly cover that rolling. And we're at an even game. Yeah, this is quickly turning Ooh, back into Anthony's favorite and there's another smash gonna do it. Doesn't hurt you just throw him out sometimes, right? Yeah. Anthony not, not too scared to get a little degenerate. Classic Wi-Fi strats. Oh. Speaking of classic stretch, we got some just dash bag. That's like needle camping. That's what it's about these days. Oh man. I wonder if, if that was a raw back then instead of a fair if that would have caught the bounce of fish. Oh my god. Back here. Edge guard? Yeah, it's gonna do it. Anthony trying to take work down with him. Anthony is one of the few clouds I see that actually mixes up between doing up B1 proper and then you know, doing uh, up B2 follow up there. Actually gives him a lot of mix up potential, even when it whips. Yeah. Blaybeam's not going to connect, but he's still got the ledge traps. And this is scary for Korg. Anything's going to be able to do it. Uh, sledge traps, as you can see, are doing a lot of work. Fourth yeah, timing that roll perfectly to dodge that dash attack, but he still hasn't found an opening to follow his own. That's still not really going to lead to much. It's just a lot of straight hits, and they don't deal a lot of damage. He isn't a character you want to just take straight hits on, you know? Before we go, I'm just going to, like, you and everyone. Wow. Charger for those jumps, Anthony finally lands one of those back airs. Uh, back here, he erased her so much of the whole grace in that start. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm curious to see, is Quirk... I, I assume Quirk will stick with the sheet? Let's see. Going back to small battlefields? Most likely sticking to his guns. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, alright. Sticking that out with the Sheik, I respect it quite a bit. I think Clark does take character matchups more into consideration when he picks Sheik, but yeah, this might be his uh, two flat character. As opposed to his flat stage character being the ninja and his five flat character being. And he just the needs he needs a mono flat character. A smash Bill and Hollow Bash. Which might also be game. Might be. Very impressive on right. stage. Uh, that was. I don't think that was intentional. Definitely not intentional. Hey, it's alright. He didn't need that stock, right? Yeah. Uh, getting another chance to just start off with a lead and make it, make the game his. You know? Let's see what he's doing. He's already got starting up. Fork turning up the heat a little bit. Interesting thing about bouncing fish is if she hits you with the bouncing fish, she'll bounce back and get to do a second hit. Um, she can actually act out of that quicker if she just smashes the second hit immediately. Really? Yep, and that's what Cork did to try to get another back air after that. Oh, Anthony missed an attack. And this game is looking like a stark contrast from the last two we've seen. Well, I kid. The up smash. I forgot. Anthony it's loves not his over yet. Smash. Playing defensively is one of Sheik's strengths. Um, just maneuver around opponent's hitboxes. These are some pretty big hitboxes to maneuver around. Bork definitely seasoned enough to not jump into that fair. That's definitely a trap that a lot of people get hit by. Okay. Anthony definitely just not, not looking touchable right now. We are at up smash kill percent. <laughs> Well, that will that be the game? And that will be the game. And that's exactly what Cork was needing. That's what we were talking about earlier. Cork just needs some of these gifts. You know, Cloud, for how good of a player you can be, sometimes there's just not a lot that you can do about those situations. And you just gotta hold it. You guess wrong sometimes. That is how it is. 
Gimping Cloud may be kind of the forehead obvious answer, but a lot of times it is strictly the right one. Obvious does not mean bad. Yep. That is absolutely true. Alright, let's see what Anthony's counterfeit is. Well, what's the music? That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> Going for some Street Fighter. Yeah, Vega? Alright. Oh. Which hit? Did we go to Battlefield? Huh? Did we stick it on a small Battlefield? I feel like Battlefield, the... Battlefield would make sense, but... It's like we're oh, still yeah, in like the back. Gates. So it's out the gate, starting off with some, some aggression. That's what you like to see. And jump caught. This is a lot of damage. Quark's still keeping this going. <laughs> Not a true punish, unfortunately. Quark trying to get through that punish, but... Yeah. Or just getting out of there. No business being there. On that upbeat. Magnet hands on that are quite potent. Down so out of the corner there. and then catching the landing on the platform yep. with the up smash. Dodging that up smash narrowly. Stands there and gets hit by the air, but no Interesting interactions happening at Ann Arbor Arena 52. Back here being stuffed okay, out. Okay, uh, Anthony, I always kind of be careful for that second hit of upbeat. I've seen too many people get stocks cheese. Uh, we're kind of barely go spacing out. outside that. That was definitely a, a bit foolhardy. Alright, we got advantage though. This is... He That's just no dragging Cloud off stage and There's he had jump. no jump. Hey, However, he will trade the stock. Potential not match necessary. points. Yeah. We're definitely moving like a champ right now. He's trying to win this game regardless. Yeah. Up there out of that, that F throw. Definitely very obnoxious. There it is again. Wow, that blazing gun. That killed at about 64%, if I'm not mistaken. That far off stage, I guess everything starts to kill, but Anthony gonna take 